Libby is going to take us to a French-inspired art workshop where she learns that art is 10% inspiration and 90% perception and practice. Get ready to get out your paintbrush, your canvas and your easel because today I'll be showing you Atelier, an art studio in Salisbury where I believe it is the only one in Brisbane where an age-old tradition is being kept alive right here in these studios. Let's go check it out. Atelier, uh, it's of French origin, I believe. Yeah, uh, an atelier is a studio or a workshop where um, a student will come to sort of learn uh, at the hands of, I don't know, I suppose a master painter, uh, somebody who's already learned their craft. The three of us, Scott, Ryan and myself, have uh, all got our studios uh, surrounding um, the sort of teaching space that we work from. And I think what that does, that, that adds an extra dimension, a, a dimension of reality, so that the students can actually see what's going on in our working lives as well as um, sort of obviously uh, understanding what it is that we're trying to teach them. The atelier, as far as we can, we've uh, reset in Salisbury. Yeah. So it's a real workshop... Environment. Uh, Ryan, you're one of the partners here. Uh, if you could just tell us a bit about how your career started. Yep, I got some um, great help very young when I was at high school. Mm -hmm. um, teachers helped me um, to, to, to to build my skills and, and um, help me to sort of learn about what I wanted to do. So I decided to be an artist very, very young. Um, I, went to, I went to Sydney to, to Julian National Art School and it, um, it really changed my life there. Um, it was a very disciplined education. It was great because I think I, I learned a lot of hard lessons early on so they they don't they haven't sort of caught up with me I've solved them and um, I'm pretty free to do what I want. Uh, so from the Julian Ashton Art School uh, were there any other places you went to um, to gain experience? I, I did I I, um, I traveled internationally I received a, a traveling scholarship to do that so I, um, I went through Europe and studied in galleries and did my own sort of study as mm -hmm. well as um, going through a sort of classical sort of um, sort of study in Florence, Italy. So I got to to um, you know to, to see great artworks, you know, while while doing some some pretty amazing intensive study, and and it um, just reinforced what I wanted to do in my life. I wanted to 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 make artwork, to be around artists, to um, to, to teach also. It's, it's valuable to me, having recently retired, this is something that I've waited and that's, I've been wanting to do for years and years. So uh, it's been a great opportunity. It's interesting that the people that I've met here have come from all over, Canberra, Bundaberg, and they've all come here because the place has a good reputation. As a, and they tell me how lucky we are. I, I didn't realise that I'd, I'd got into something that's a little bit unique. Uh, Scott, so I'd really like to just, you know, get in there. I'm a first timer. Um, is there any hope for me, like with with form? Um, how how can I go about that? 
absolutely there's hope for you. <laughs> um, so we try to break down the, all of the different skills that go into being able to draw, being able to paint. So we start with um, uh, looking at uh, seeing, seeing shapes accurately within the thing that you're observing. Mm -hmm. uh, we then break down the fundamental forms, the geometric forms that you're seeing, the cylinders, sphere, um, prism, and we observe them in organic form because ultimately we're not interested in drawing cylinders and, and boxes. We're interested in drawing something like a human form or an, a landscape or something like that. Mm -hmm. So we, we learn to observe those fundamental forms which are, which are much simpler to deal with, we learn to observe them in, the, um, in these complex organic forms. Okay. So that's really the, the way forward. We also, as you can see around you, these, the casts that we have here are very, they're, they're, they're ways of uh, investigating the figure. They're, they're <laughs> much clearer to, to see the anatomy or to see those basic building blocks of the figure than usually what you see in the in in a real living in in real living figure so that's why we begin with with drawing from the cast and then we move into drawing from the uh model or from from uh life yeah so you're really trying to hone in on the core skills absolutely yes yeah that's right Well, who comes to your classes? We get all sorts of people, and uh, through a life drawing uh, session, you could expect to see perhaps a, a railway labourer next to a doctor. Um, we have, in the last sort of couple of weeks, had uh, a woman who's been working on The Hobbit over in New Zealand for the last sort of 14 months or so. She came over exclu or to come to our art school because you know, she looked at the web and uh, we obviously do things that she wanted to see. Um, we have um, another chap who's a senior, uh, senior character designer at Sega Games, you know, it's the international computer company, mm -hmm. who's been coming to us so that instead of working digitally with um, programs like ZBrush or whatever, he, he can actually work and manipulate materials with his hands, you know, he, he can sculpt, that's what we're teaching him. Um, the other people that uh, come along, they come along for a whole variety of reasons. It might be that they were good at art at school and uh, life has just got in the way and they want to do sort of what they were good at now and uh, give themselves that opportunity. We also see a good number of uh, students from um, the art college in the city. Uh, the type of education that they receive there isn't what they receive here. We, we go back to the basics. We teach them real skills. Um, theirs is a lot more subjective, a lot more experimental, a lot, a lot more conceptual. And that isn't what a lot of people want. It's certainly not what I wanted. Um, beyond that, then, anyone with an interest and a love in fine art. Well, that's about all from me here at Atelier Art Classes. I've had a really good time here meeting Nick, Ryan and Scott. Um, you should go check out the web, atelierartclasses.com. And uh, that's all from me. I'm Libby Glasson for This Town, Brisbane.